All right, adventurers, welcome to All Play. Uh, today we're going to be doing something new. I want to play a new trading card game or collectible card game, digital card game, whatever you want to call it. Uh, as a lot of you know, I recently stopped playing Hearthstone. I should actually stay like about a year ago. I started playing Hearthstone or stopped playing Hearthstone after not feeling like I wanted to play daily in and out anymore. Uh, and I, in my time without cards, I realized I really do love card games. So I wanted to play something else. Today we're taking a look at a game called Duelist. Uh, this game has had ads shoved on every social media platform that I use. And I never took the moment to take a look at it. So I said, let's go ahead and take a look at it today. We're starting CCG Fridays. Uh, and if I enjoy this game, I'll play it more regularly on the channel. I'll have it come up sporadically. Uh, like I said, today we're going to be looking at a game called Duelist. There will be a link in the description below where you can take this game out yourself, as well as how you can join uh, and play along with me uh i'm doing this tutorial i don't know what this game is i've never played this game before as i said uh, and there's three challenges to learn the basics to the game so let's see the first is called knowledge is power it's gonna be two minutes long and we're gonna summon minions to defeat the enemy general all right so we're already learning turns we haven't even hit continue yet knowledge is power summon your minions and defeat the enemy general so right off the bat I like I like the the differences between art styles. You've got like what looks like hand drawn artwork as well as in the background. And then you've got the eight bit looking or the pixel art looking characters here. They're so dope. Okay, so I've I've actually been reading while I'm talking. Move forward by dragging onto the tile. So I could drag my gent onto this tile. Here we go. Attack by dragging onto the enemy. Uh, let's see. So in typical card game fashion, this guy, Arjun Jaime, has two attack and ten health. Uh, it looks like the same for the opponent, Calibero 2.0. So we dealt two damage to him, and he's going to deal two to us. We both go down to eight health. I'm understanding. So let's see, what is this? I draw one new card each turn. Oh, is he going to play a card? He sure is. He played Lizzie and Brawler. You gain one mana at the start of each turn. I'm guessing that's what that was in the top left corner. Weirdly, though, it says health. Like, it was throwing me off. Okay. It's about time. I guess I'm going to play, oh boy. Summon it by dragging it onto the tile. All right. Minions must wait a turn to attack. Minions must wait a turn to attack. So I guess we're going to attack, old boy. There's going to be a stalemate if this keeps up. We're both going to die. Right, so our brawler attacked his. And they both died. He moving out the way for an Azurite lion. Oh. Oh. All right, so we want to summon this bad boy. Can you move so I can read the card, please? It's the Hailstone Golem. What is it, though? It's a 4-6. All right. It's got four attack and six health. It's a 4-6. And it requires four mana. Attack diagonally to finish it off. I'm going to guess since I'm attacking diagonally, it won't attack back. Oh, never mind. Yes, it will. There will be no retreat. Are we done? We done here? So he's gonna move out the way again. He summoned the Iron Cliff Guardian. I'm guessing now we can attack with our boy. The challenge begins. Finish off Calibero this turn. All right. So how can I finish this man off this turn? How? Can, oh, we can move all the way in and go diagonal. Let's let's do that. Let's move him all the way in, and then attack diagonally. Calibero is Calibero gone. <laughs> Dope. All right, so it's got very basic um, trading card game mechanics about it. All right. Ready player two. Cast spells on the field. Sure. Uh, I'm gonna. I plan on doing this with face cam. I just wanted to get the basics down. I wanted to see what the field looked like before I threw my face cam in and blocked stuff that was necessary. 
All right, so we're going to learn how to cast spells. Oh, we're on the right side this time. Okay. Who is this? Who is this? This is a rook. Again, extra mana crystal, I guess, because I went first. I could probably any mana spring to gain bonus mana. All right, so now move to the closest mana spring. And then turn's done. The storm metal golem. The dry bone golem. Thor Neela. Occupy the mana spring. You got it. So we're going to take that mana, and now we got five for the turn. So we can summon. Move. We can summon Thorn Kneeler. Well, we could have did that without the extra mana, right? It'd be okay. Here we go. Exhausted. Can't move or attack. You can replace one card any time during your turn. So the Dry Bone Golem is getting replaced. It's a 10-10. That's a great card, but it looks like we're never going to be. <laughs> we're not going to summon that one anytime soon. So let's replace that. The True Strike spell. It deals two damage to a minion. Dope. And it costs one. Over this boy. Deal it to grow. Now grow is no mo. Alright, so finish General Rook off in one turn. Alright, so we could both go in for the attack, or I could send in Thor Kneeler. Who's very clearly gonna go to war. And I think I'm here for Thor Kneeler going for war. Not too bad. Okay, so I could throw away cards from my hand to draw new cards. Or one card each turn to get a new card. Dope. Alright, the Bloodbound. Learn the power of artifacts and Bloodbound spells. Oh, I feel like this I feel like this is where the game is gonna gonna become its own, you know? So far it's been pretty basic in card games. This is gonna be good. Learn the power of artifact and blood bound spells. Choose starting hand. Click to replace up to two cards. You can replace up to two cards in your starting hand. Replace this high cast card or high cost card. I'm going to guess it's our boy, 1010. Then not going to let me see. Not going to let me see. Let's see what, what else. Oh, I can't see anything else. I can see Storm Metal Golem, Windblade Adept, and Storm Metal Golem. But I can't see this. It says it's an artifact. has destructible. And I can't see old boy here. Okay, so we got two of the same artifact, it looks like. The Sunstone Bracers. Equip it to gain new abilities. Drag it anywhere to equip onto your general. Artifacts have three durability. When your general takes damage, it loses one durability. It's destroyed. Move! It's destroyed at zero durability. So with the stun Sunstone Bracers, our general gains one attack. Uh, and we're right here, so instead of being a two, we're gonna be a three. I, for one, am here for that. All right, so we're gonna move. This boy's got 26 health. The Dragar Lord has two attack and 26 health. Bad. Artifacts have three durability. If a general takes damage, it loses one. You can equip up to three artifacts at a time. So he's got that mana. He's gonna hit us for two. We're gonna go for three. All right. Uh, summon. Move. Summon the Windblade Adept. A three, three for three. Why can't I summon it here? Does I not want to summon it here? Equip another artifact. It's gonna give it to the general. It said. So now we're at four. We deal two extra attack. And one of our things, one of our artifacts has one damage on it. Ooh, another one. Ooh, we got another one. Now, it said we could only, uh, we could hold up to three of these at one time. It said my blood bound spell refreshes in two turns. It's refreshed now. So we have Roar. Give a friendly minion nearby your general plus two attack. I'm here. I'm here for giving plus two attack. It looks like we're about to go to war with Roar. Oh, we want to equip this too? Let's equip this too. I know the game did say to. Let's do it anyways. No? The game won't let me? Is it one of those games? Okay. <laughs> attack the general, uh, general here. That's a lot of damage. 
Looks like we might. Actually, I think we're going to win this one. If the numbers do befit me, it looks like we're going to win this one. It's just you and me now. <laughs> Defeat the Dragar Lord in one turn. I mean, we're almost there. We just got to do this and then do this. Souped up. Here we go. Oh, can I can I do this? Is it going to let me? Yeah, we got Thorn Needler again. Let's send our boy Thorn Needler out. He's pretty cool. Dope. The faction unlocked the Lion Art Kingdoms. Okay, so these are all cards I'm guessing within the Lion Art Kingdoms. Lizzie and Brawler. The Windblade of Depth. War Surge. Give all friendly minions plus one plus one. I like cards like that. I like Anthem effects. True Strike. Sunstone Bracers. And Arjun High Main. I guess that's this is the general symbol I'm guessing. Pretty dope so far. Oh boy, we got loot boxes. We got loot boxes. Achievement complete. It's the most festive time of the season. All right. Win one practice game. All right, so we're going to play a practice game and, and complete complete a mission. Uh, we got gift crates, they call it. It's still loot box. <laughs> Let's pop one boy open. Here you go, boys. Open up. Open up. Okay, so it looks like there's three things inside each box, which is cool. We got a spirit orb, a legendary card skin, and plus 225 on spirit. I'm going to guess this is how you craft new cards. I want to see this legendary card skin. This guy looks pretty dope. Let's pop one more. Pop one more for your boys. Here we go. A hundred spirit. Another legendary card skin and more spirit orbs. I'm, I'm interested in what spirit orbs do. I'm interested in what spirit orbs do. All right, back to the menu. Back to the menu. Uh, let's see. Frostfire. One core set orb, spirit and a frostfire cosmetic. Two immortal orbs, spirit. And this is for diamonds. I'm going to guess diamond is the platinum. Diamond is the, the real money. Okay, unlock spirit, open spirit orbs to unlock new cards for your collection. Oh, so that's what spirit orbs do. They're booster packs. Okay, so let's drag this bad boy in the middle. See what we got. Okay, so there's five in there. Oh, oh, this one glows a different color. Gonna guess this is the rare. <laughs> let's start backwards. We got the Maw minion. It's got opening gambit. I'm gonna guess this is when you play it. Yeah. Yeah. It triggers when you uh, it triggers an effect when someone from your action bar. So when you play this card, you get a two two and you deal two damage to a nearby enemy minion. Hailstone Prison return any minion to its action bar. That'd be dope going to these two over and over. Wings of Paradise is a minion. Uh flying. I'm gonna guess flying. Oh, it can move anywhere. Oh, I was just gonna assume that flying make you only hit by other things with flying. When you replace a card, this minion gains two attack this turn. So when you throw a card from your hand, this guy gets two more attack. Dope. The Sun Bloom. It dispels a 2-2 area. What does dispel mean? I'm going to guess it means it takes the spell off of everything within the 2-2 area. And then the rare. Pull. Oh, magnetize. Pull any minion to the space in front of your general. And it's the Lionar Kingdoms. Oh, these are all affiliated with different things. And then these are neutral. They don't care who they go with. Okay, cool. Pop this bad boy open. I like these cards so far. They're pretty cool looking. They're pretty cool looking. They're all pretty reminiscent of uh, magic cards. This is one color. I'm going to guess this is rare. And I'm going to guess this is mythic, epic, legendary, something. Siphon energy. Dispel an enemy minion nearby your general. Rest crawler. Opening gambit. Destroy a random artifact on the enemy general. Amplification. Give a friendly damage minion plus two attack and plus four health. I like that. Teleport an enemy one space for Mesmerize. And then Grove Lion. Uh, while this minion is on the battlefield, your general, general has force field. Cancel the first damage taken each turn. That's this boy right here. He's a, he's a dope boy. The Grove Lion. 
All right, let's play the game. Let's do a practice game. Let's do a practice game before we wrap it up for today. Like I said, I want to do a look at this at this wonderful looking game. It looks dope so far. Looks dope so far. It's running smoothly and everything. Okay, so a practice game. Holding your skills against computer controlled opponents. I feel like this is where I'm gonna get rocked. Uh, we have the Line Our Kingdoms starter deck. I'm guessing we haven't built any decks, so. All right, so we'll play with Line Our Kingdoms once more. And then practice. It wants to be a practice against the Magmar Aspects. Let's do that. Let's see about the Magmar Aspects. Lionar versus Magmar. Oh, this go be good. Oh, this go be good. All right, so we choose our starting hand. Uh, the computer is not holding my hand this time, so you're going to see how bad I am at card games when I first learned how to play them. And then we're going to see the progression uh, over time. Drybone Golem. I feel like if we play a 10-10, if we play a 7-mana card, we either have to have taken all the mana for ourselves or we're going to lose the game. I'm going to replace the Drybone Golem just because it's an expensive card. And a 10-10 in the field, we're probably going to lose before then. Our health hasn't really been too high in the, in the practices. I don't know what it is right now, but we'll see. He got replaced with the Blood Shark Golem. Okay, so we had 25 health. Everybody starts with 25 health. Voth said, uh, good luck, have fun. Appreciate it. Okay, so with two mana, the only thing we can play are our Windblade Adepts and True Strike. Uh, Zeal, he gains one attack. Gains a bonus effect when nearby your general. All right, so let's move up. And then we'll keep Windblade Adept near the general. I hope that counts as near. Yeah, I'm guessing near means one. Uh, oh, wait, within a three by three with the character in the middle. That's my that's my assumption. That's my assumption. All right, we drew another true strike spell. I feel like anything Voss summons, we can shoot down. So he's gonna move. All right, uh, let's see. We drew at the end of the turn. I didn't even remember that. I was waiting on the card to be drawn. Uh, okay, so we could play the Blood Shard Golem. Actually, let's see. If I move, Blood Shard Golem's gonna deal four damage. Okay, if I move here, he can go right here. We can summon, we can summon the Blood Shard Golem on top of this. We'll get that mana. I mean, it won't matter. We can't do anything with it. But we keep him from grabbing the mana. Oh, he could attack. I forgot you could attack uh, Diagonal. Because three up and three down. Or two down, excuse me. All right. Doing, I'm, I feel like I'm doing all right so far, you know? Looks like I have a hand size of six at the most. He's going to attack and kill. I know he is. It's okay. It's okay. I also feel like I want to keep my general protected. What is? Oh, this is my this is my thing. This is my thing. Remember, you can replace cards from your action. But I remember. This will give a friendly minion nearby plus two. Okay. So let's see. Celeb celerity. This minion may attack activate twice per turn, so I can attack twice a turn. Question mark. Let's see. We've got four mana here. This costs one mana, so we can't roar and play our boy. So how about instead of playing him just yet, let's attack here. Did something else pop up? Oh no, it's down here. Blood bounce so he gives the general plus one attack. Okay. Uh let's see. Let's see. Um I'm trying to figure out what's the best COA. I probably should have moved him down first, but it'll be okay. We'll be alright. Uh let's move down here. Actually, let's move here. I can grab the mana. Now I can play this guy and do roar. Plus two attacks, not gonna. Oh shit, there's a timer? Where's the timer? Where's the timer? Oh, I can't play. I can't do this now. Oh, I did it. Didn't I? Did it. Is the timer what was happening down here? <laughs> Alright, so he's probably gonna do overload. No? No overload? No overload for you? Why no overload, bro? So he's going to move here. Oh, he's going to play Earthwalker there. He's got Grow. Grow gets bigger at the start of your turn. Oh, we got to get rid of this man. 
Remember, you can replace a card. Are you trying to tell me I have a card that I shouldn't have? Let's see. We have the Necroseer. Dying Wish draw a card. When it does, it activates. Okay. So let's see. We can attack here. Shit. Oh, yeah, I'm doing the right guy. And then you can attack again. That's game. But for theatrics, let's make sure we got spells down. Get rid of this man so he doesn't grow. I know you thought you was, but you ain't. Uh, let's see. One blade of death. Let's play him here. Okay. So, yes. You, if there's no squares in between one blade of death in the one blade of death in the general, then he gets, he gains zeal. You got it. Go for the win. He says, "Well played." Dope. This game is this game is nice. I like this game so far. I'm having fun. Oh, we leveled up. It's a level two reward. We get divine bond. Uh, give a minion attack equal to its health. That sounds really familiar. <laughs> that sounds really familiar. Oh, and we got a core spirit orb. I'm guessing core means it's the basic booster pack instead of like an expansion. Plus one spirit orbs for completing win one practice game. But we got one quest done. Dope. This game's cool. Oh, and we unlock the magma aspects because we beat them. Because we beat they ass. Okay, we got Vath the Immortal. The greater forward two spell, which gives a friendly minion plus two plus two. Natural selection. Destroy any minion with the lowest attack or tied for the lowest attack. Phalanxar. A Phalanxar is a 6-1 for two. Earthwalker is a 3 3 with grow. Oh, we just saw this fellow. Adamantite Claws. Your general gains four attack. This is an artifact. That's a lot. That's a lot. Okay, so we got a new goal win two practice games. Dope. This game's dope so far. I'm enjoying it. Okay, so like I said, in the description below, there's going to be a link where you can download this game for yourself. Uh, I'm sure you saw my name on here is Chill the Beast. Uh, feel free to add me. Uh, once I figure out, how, I'm going to guess you just go down here to friends to add people. Uh, feel free to add me. And I feel like I'm going to play this for a little while just at least to understand the game. Get, get a bearing on the rules and such. And you might even see it pop up on the channel from time to time aside from CCG Fridays. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this video and would love to see more, then all you have to do is hit that red button below this video. Now it's the subscribe button and turn on notifications. That way you get notified whenever a video goes live on the channel or whenever I do something special like a live stream. Thank you for checking this out and I'll catch you later with more here on Alt Play.